Welcome ba back, everybody. Let's play Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Whoa. Here in Lava Reef Zone. Okay, what's it flying behind me instead of on top of me? Well. Okay. T both sides can crush me. If you can't tell, I'm not very familiar with uh, Knuckles Lava Reef, Lava Reef Zone. This place is completely different from uh, what Sonic and Tails go through, I think. Not completely different, but very different. Oh, come on. Oh, hi. Uh. What? Okay, gliding didn't work. I'm guessing because I was on that frame rate. Oh, bugged out right there, and I didn't register my input. Okay, wait, this high range is nice, you know. Dude. I have all day, you know. Oh, come on. at this. Destroying the machines are kind of what I do. It's kind of what I do, so. I'm quite positive you can destroy this thing, actually, but the number of hits it takes is uh, a little bit more than I should be showing. It'd be nice if I was on top of it right now, so I could actually, at least on the side of it, so I don't have to take so long to make it hit. Crap. I don't want to kill that thing. Seriously? Yeah, I guess this is how we're starting off this episode of me just screwing around. Dying because of it. Really? I know your rings don't just fall straight through right there, too. Well, do you just disappear? What's over here, anyways? Ring, ring. A switch. Open that. Okay. I can go with that. Whoa, what? Uh, yeah, okay. Sure. Is this a thing that's supposed to happen? <laughs> the answer strikes me as no. What? That's a big hitbox. I don't think you're supposed to get past that thing. Oh, hi. Another... ...robot likes to drill things. And this time it exploded. Thank you. Crap. I don't know if I'm bugging the game out right now or not, to be honest. The fan might actually be in, like, Sonic and Tails portion of the level. Which is a thing you can do. And pretty much every single level. It has separate seconds for so uh, Knuckles and Sock and Tails. Oh, come on. Whoa, that was a buggy graphic. Oh, whoops. Well, uh, see where this takes us. Probably shouldn't be hitting any checkpoints, because that might get screwed over. I don't think I've hit any checkpoints yet, though. If you're in an area you're not supposed to be in and you hit a checkpoint, you can be screwed pretty hard. Oh man, those rings were flashing. Colors. That was pretty.
You know, I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm in a place I'm supposed to be. Now here's the thing. Knuckles is supposedly able to get this. Well, I read. Knuckles is actually able to get this uh, giant ring that's right up here right now, but I have never found a way to actually climb up there. Well, I can do that, I guess. But... I'm not gonna bug through the wall. That doesn't seem like a good idea. And... Does everything hate me? No, it does not. Oh, come on. Stop bouncing uncontrollably. Bouncing controllably is what the cool kids do. You're supposed to be a cool guy, Knuckles. Thank you. Yay. Alright, life dream filled. Let's go. Hundred rings should probably carry me throughout the rest of the level so I can actually avoid dying. And since I have a uh, electric shield. The biggest fear here is just getting crushed. Yes, I did hit that checkpoint because I think I'm actually able to go through here. I'm pretty sure about this level portion of the level as I was before. And I haven't gone screwed over because that uh, giant ring I saw where I said Knuckles can't actually get the same level right that he can. That is an area that I have access to as Knuckles before, and nothing went wrong, so... Hopefully I didn't just throw everything out. Okay, come on. If that stuff gets stuck on you and you're, and you're, uh, and you're invincible so it won't go away, just, uh, spin dash and it'll disappear. That big cloud of stuff. I haven't noticed in the past few episodes, I haven't really been talking about any kind of weird stuff I usually do. Like, the the development of this game or anything like that. I haven't actually come across anything like that. Yeah, see, this is a little longer than Knuckles level, I'm sure. Uh, I haven't come across anything like Or, I guess I haven't come across anything like that, because... What? Okay, you can hit the switch from the other side. I just don't really have much of anything to talk about for the rest of this playthrough. I have a couple things to point out, but not much to actually talk about. Idly. I will say, actually, having uh, done research on this game and seeing how stuff happened made me really interested in pretty much any game that I like and enjoy to play. I like learning all the things about it now because of my enjoyable time. Learning stuff up like that in uh, this playthrough, I think. Like if a game was originally made in Japan. Oh, what? Darn it! I have fire. It's suitable looking for knuckles, I think, but, well. I do think fire looks nice on knuckles. Hey! Darn it! First, you guys, for you guys, the fire graphical effect doesn't actually show properly, because the frame rate on YouTube isn't proper. But yes, like this particular game that I have been playing recently, that I have discovered... Oh wait. <laughs> I can't hit those because Knuckles doesn't jump high enough. But I have discovered, people always condemn it for its crappy voice acting, which it does have crappy voice acting, and it's crappy lip syncing. But it turns out that it's actually... Uh, just the game in the stub that's all screwed up, for example. But you learn about all sorts of things that were different in the Japanese version and stuff like that. You know, the voice acting was way better for one. Cinematography as well. Let me explain that when I actually let's play that game, though. Plan to do so very, very soon. Until then. Yeah, that's part one of Flower Reef Zone. With so many rings. The rest of the... 
rings would carry over to the next act, but oh well. Knuckles, not jump up there. Turn it, Knuckles. Oh, okay, the camera just doesn't, like, it doesn't feel like moving. Okay, that was close. Oh, I don't know, if I went up to the left there, that would give me a uh, fire shield, but I already have one, so I don't have to worry about that. The Rodnick monitors, for some reason, and a... Oh yeah, that's there. I think you actually have to go through that as a Knuckles, because you, don't, you can't jump up high enough to go through the other area. Or through on a Sonic and Tails area. So yes, his levels are still very segregated from Sonic and Tails, even in a Sonic 3 Knuckles, or even Sonic and Knuckles, which was which was designed with him in mind. And there are the level, levels that he has that are just completely separate from, or that have no resemblance whatsoever to Sonic and Tails levels. One well, which we'll see very soon, actually. It kind of disappoints me. Knuckles doesn't have any cutscenes during his playthrough. And you don't see any encounters with anybody except for uh, Egg Robo. Oops. Whereas Sonic had all these encounters with Knuckles. Same goes with the Tails if you were playing as him, I guess. Rings. Rings. Rings? No. No rings? No rings. Ridiculous rings? Ridiculous rings. This music, you might know us. <laughs> probably recognize this music. I think it's kind of weird to actually playing a level that has this as the music, though. It doesn't really sound really normal. Thing we can break through. See, yeah, Knuckles gets to have fun going through lots of pipes in this level. So what's interesting about this level is actually that both Sonic, uh, both Sonic and Tails section of the level and Knuckles of the level, Knuckles section of the level, I mean, are both always loaded. Uh, they're both, oh well, yeah, they're both loaded. You know, they, uh, the two characters take different paths. Uh, they don't actually get like separate levels to go through. That's gonna help me even less. No. Thank you. Come on! No. Oh. I'm satisfied with that. Let's move onwards. That's not the way to go. I'm going backwards, am I? No, I'm not. It's so hard to tell sometimes in this game. It's kind of frustrating. Wait, I totally did go backwards. God, man. By the way, Knuckles being able to, like, smash stuff by... by uh gliding into a wall is pretty much useless, as you probably noticed by now. Oh wait, I hit that switch, I didn't see that switch, I thought it was one of those fire things. Uh, I never find myself near enemies when I use it. Yeah, I just don't use it right or something. But I, I find Hyper Knuckles to be... I mean, he plays exactly the same as Super Knuckles, I think. He just has an after image now, so he looks slightly fancier. You can get a slightly, ever so slightly different ending. That's not how you do a loop. No, that holes. No, you're not supposed to leave that, that angle. And Hyper Knuckles can breathe underwater, Super Knuckles can't, but that's not very important when there is no water in Sonic and Knuckles portion of the game. So unless you're doing an, another playthrough, uh, in which you actually have Hyper Knuckles, it's not important at all. 
Super Hyper Song at least has that uh, jumping thing. And he looks very different from su uh, Supersonic. Very satisfying, rainbow-like stuff. Whereas Hyper Knuckles isn't really that different, he just has an after image. So I don't find it to be that satisfying. It looks kinda cool, but it's not as badass. I want an after image of my character I could just play Sonic Advance. Oh well. Well, Sonic Advance wasn't a thing at the time, so I guess this was kind of novel or something. So yeah, yes, it's, I don't really consider Hypnogles to be worth the work, but whatever. Since you don't make anything new for him. Or new from playing as him. As compared to Super Knuckles, but... Well, I'll change the ending slightly.